How you guys? Oh, my hair looks a mess. How you guys? I'm back with another video. It's not the same day. It's actually a different day. I just put this damn shirt back on because I ain't feel like finding shit to wear. You know how I be. But anyway, it's still not the same day. But I went to another place and got some chicken livers. I was on a hunt. The fries fucked up. They all greasy and shit. Very greasy. But the livers are a whole lot more better. Like a supposed to be nice and chunky, full. Look good. Only thing is that they're not seasoned. Tastes like fried flour. So I got me some seeds. And I'm going to season them up. And on top of that, <clears throat> I got me some ketchup and some hot sauce. And they don't make it do what it do. I am in the park eating we're about to eat anyway with my cranberry juice cranberry choice today is cran tropical i'm feeling a little better because i was suffering with this bad earache and toothache i got you guys my tooth in the back broke some kind of way i don't know how but it broke and it's got so bad to my ear it's hurting better that's a whole lot better I and mean, when you um if you have bad toothache you know pain i would take my c-section 10 times over before i wouldn't be with a toothache ever I don't want to be laying back like I'm laying down, but I want y'all to see my food. But yeah, I got off work. And now I'm eating my lunch. Well, what do you want to call it? I'm not eating the fries, not eating the bread, but I'm going to eat the chicken livers. Hold on, guys. Something didn't taste right. I'm such a picky person when it comes to certain things, baby. I just like my food a certain way. And that don't taste right. That one I just ate. Tastes like poison. And no, I don't know what poison tastes like, but I will assume it tastes like that. All bitter and whatever. On top of that thing, I, I barely have taste buds in my mouth and my tongue because that Red Cross I put on my tooth, my tooth, Red Cross oil, it's like clove oil and something else. It burns everything, so it literally will burn the taste buds off your tongue. You won't be able to taste nothing. But on my right side, I can taste it. My left side, I can't even taste shit. And I'm also not chewing on my left side because of that reason. I don't want no food to get on that too. Or anything. So. Um, are y'all happy school since start back for kids? I excited. Me personally. No, I'm not. I'm one of the parents that actually enjoy the kids. They get on my nerve, of course. Kids are the kids. But I'm actually one of the parents who actually enjoy the kids. Because I'm like a big kid myself, to be honest. Some of y'all know that, some of y'all don't. But now everybody knows who's watching. But, um,. Yeah, my daughter talked to Destiny today because they they've been out of town. Uh, the campus out of town right now, and then Destiny they she was her and Harmony were just talking about me the other about, about me the other night. I said, "What you talking about? Come on, I miss my mom." <coughs> Harmony. I don't know if it's me or what. Something like right. And Harmony was like, um, 
I really, like I told my grandma yesterday, I'm really gonna go buy me some chicken livers and make my own shit. Um, I'm gonna text me. Tell me she ready to go. She ready to come home. Stay with Mama Sharon, y'all. Y'all know I don't even fuck around play. I don't let my kids really go nowhere. And they're not with me. My grandma, that live next door. My mama Sharon, they ain't nowhere. Poor oh, ass school. They ain't no fucking well. I don't even play like that. I don't even play like that. And they come back on Sunday. Well, let me tell you something. Woo -woo. Tomorrow is date night for Rome and I. So, tomorrow we're going to out to eat into the movies. We're going to go see the scare movie. Indigenous uh, 3, The Red Door. You guys know I am a, a scare movie fanatic. I love me a good scary movie. Well, this one is more like more of demonic than scary. You gotta watch out for that. But it is what it is. Mm hmm. Yeah, the kids are getting so big. I know y'all saw them. Trini is tall as me. She's the third child. She's taller than Destiny. Or tall as Destiny. She definitely about, I don't know. We'll see her one day. Recent, soon. Um. Just, I don't know. Things are changing. I can't even taste my juice that took my tongue. But guys, if you're looking for a good toothache pain pill meditation, it's this. Come in a box like this. It come with this, some tweezers, and the oil. That you put on put on the cotton balls, the tweezer. I got about full now. And um, put on your tool. I didn't really enjoy this. <clears throat> I didn't. I don't know if it's because I can barely taste. I mean, I can taste that. I can say it barely. And yeah. And the comment of the day is. I don't even know what it is, but it's right there. So thank you for watching the video. And I would be a supporter. You know? Support don't always have to come in the form of money. Support is just watching could be just watching the video. Commenting on the video. Thumbs up in the video. And if by you comment, that means I know that you watch it or whatever the case may be because you're here. So, therefore, I get to post your comment. To my subscriber, that one. First of all, today is Thursday, 27th, 28th of July. One of them. And what to my subscriber who won the, um, my brand hair gel, uh, edge control gel, brand gel. I will send your package off um, between now and 
this weekend. No, this weekend I'm so busy. Between now and next week. Before I'm trying to say, but you know what? I'm off a lot of days next week. I'm off. Yeah, I'll send it off next week. Yeah. Well, it might be sooner because I have I have packages orders from my business that I have to sit off. So just might be anywhere between. The thing is, I don't have to go to the post. I just got to drop it off because then you know, I got my, my laser printer machines just print the shit off and go. So anyway, baby, just be on the lookout. You'll get it soon. Yeah, I thank you for everybody who supports my business. My business is justnatch.com. That's my business. I sell clothing. I sell wigs, affordable wigs, not crazy price wigs, affordable human hair wigs. Um, virgin hair, if that's what you want to call it. Human hair at the same day, it's all the same. I've been in the hair business industry for years, over 10 years. So, trust me, I learned a thing or a hundred because they lie a lot. Oh, they lie. The vendors lie. I don't lie. That's just who I am. I want nobody to lie to me. Um, but hair, clothes, shoes, lashes, shit, you name it. Look on my website, justnash.com. Get you a deal or three. I'm always having sales and deals. And I don't announce them. You just have to go look. I post my website every other day, so by clicking on it, have hopefully that day. You get a bit of surprise. Mm -mm -mm. I ain't talking about nothing major today, guys. I'm just eating and chatting with you guys in the car. You gotta get this video on Friday or Saturday. My video come out today. Uh, exposing YouTubers. It's four o'clock now. It dropped at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But I guess I touch on it now because you'll see that video. Wait for you see this one. And you guys already know because that video, you know. But you saw the video. I guess something that I'll be bashing people. That's not what I do. I used to retaliate when people say stuff, but what for? What's the purpose? I don't see the purpose of it. He who angers you control you. And ain't nobody controlling me but me and God. Yeah, and that's just it. So I honestly don't care what people say and think because I want to say and think what I want to say, whether people like it or not, right? So why should I care? That's your job. Your job is to do what you do. I low key want to go to the gym. I haven't been over a month. The gym been around the corner for me. It's been like a 30 second drive. Just around the corner. But, what y'all say? Ava said she full, but she's still eating this shit. I don't know what. That was called, what do you call boy? Uh oh. I chewed on that too. It didn't bother me. I guess I took my medicine, but yeah. Have any of you ladies got your physical this year? Remember, I told you to stay up on that. And let me update you guys too. We might have the boob that was bleeding. I thought it could have been cancer or something. Um, no, hormone imbalance. I have a hormone imbalance. That's when my boob was bleeding, and that's why I my my weight keep fluctuating. I I can't lose weight fast. Oh, it's, 
what is this? Did all this season weights like this? That's why I can't lose the weight how I want to because my hormones are bad. And they say I need to get on, I need to balance my hormones up basically because I'm some, some type of medication or some something of some sort. Because in the beginning, remember, when I was trying to lose weight so much, I couldn't lose weight. Kind of found out I have a very slow metabolism. So when I did the liver shrinking diet, that kind of like reboots my system because like it's basically a liquid diet that re like, like boosted my uh, reboost or whatever my system and help jump start to work. He said my uh, system and that helped me my body to try to get back in balance. I would get all the vitamins and nutrients I need. On top of that, I would get protein which helped with muscle. So, and that's why I was losing, so I was losing weight really good, I was losing weight really fast before my weight loss surgery, and it took my better stop and slow it down. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I better stop and slow it down before they went out and approved my weight loss surgery because they say she can do it on her own. I said, okay, well, let me fall back. So, maybe I should do that again, but which is basically like two protein shakes or two or three protein shakes that they really breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then, but you guys can eat one full meal if you want to, a solid meal as for as far as no carbs. So you can have something like uh, baked chicken and string beans or baked chicken or, or grilled chicken and some asparagus or Brussels sprouts. Try to get more of the green, dark leafy vegetables like cabbage and greens and kale and stuff like that, stuff that, that you know it's going to have fiber in it or very you know water based so you're not gaining weight and also helps you go to the bathroom because all that protein from your diet as far as losing weight protein shakes you know protein that could make you severely constipated and that's why I couldn't poop for almost a month after weight loss surgery because I didn't have enough fiber so and I thought I was going to die but thank god I did not die so that's that. I need to clean out my car. I haven't cleaned it out since. Well, I have cleaned it out. I'm going for my as far as like vacuuming and that. I didn't do that. So I have wipes washed out my car, like with these sanitizing wipes, Lysol wipes. But yeah. But I gotta get that hormone together i have a doctor appointment coming up so i'll be able to do that and talk about that with her because she i got my results back but she never like called me in for to talk about my results and on top of that i have to get my annual physical and pap smear and all that stuff for the year because my last one was in march of last year i was supposed to get one last march but never called me an appointment they just made one today so i go in november no freaking Zimba. Like, what the freak? <sighs> but, yeah. And also, why is it so hard for guys to go to the doctor? Like, what are y'all afraid of? But Rome got to the age where I've been on him so much. And now he wants to go ahead and go to the doctor. Because I told him, baby, you ain't getting, you're not getting younger. You, your body, and your body is slowing down. You're not that young boy you used to be. Your metabolism starting to slow down. You know, you burn, burn, burn. So he sweats instantly. Like, so, but he burn calories fast. So he has a high, see, have high metabolism, but you never know what life may bring. So let's just go ahead and get yourself checked out, baby. And whatnot. And yeah, we got an appointment like we're on the same day. We're on about the same day, time, but not the same day, of course. And, he wants me there. I'm like, babe, no, but I want you to. You just like a little kid. Like you got to have mommy there, type of thing. Like I feel him that on that because that's it's like a comfort comfortability thing because I be like needing him to be a place to make me feel comfortable. He's like my comfort. And then when I'm hurting or sick, whatever, I am most. He knows when I poke because I get like really babyish and not like not, especially if I'm in pain, I'm about to lose my shit. He grabs me and just hold me. Davis, breathe. Calm down. Stop panicking. Calm down. Calm down. And he just rubs me. Calm down, baby. Just calm down. Y'all don't know wrong. It's my... He is my calm to my storm, honey. He know how to get me together. With, he knows how to get me together. When it's time to get me together. You know what I mean? 
Not just when I'm in pain and hurting, but and I'm not talking about nothing sexually. I'm just talking about in general. He he knows how to get me together. And vice versa with him. So that's my man, my man. But the post office is closed. I was gonna go up here and do some, deliver some packages. I didn't pre-print my labels this time. I'm gonna let them let them print them for me, but so I can go ahead and drop them off. But they did not. I mean, they were closed. So yeah, but right now I think I want to go home and lay down. Go get me another cranberry juice, and then go lay down. <clears throat> Excuse me. About out of cranberry. I feel like that liver got my tummy hurting like I got a poop. Okay, my dears, I love you guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, have a good day. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. I gotta turn my air up because it's hot. Let's put my seat up because I did not leave that. Bye, babies.